Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2016 video tutorial. In this one I want to show you how to use annotative dimensions. So let's take a look. This is my model and I move it's drawn in one to one scale. Let's go to layout one. There's already a viewport. You can double click inside the viewport and you can change the scale of the annotations. Make it one to one. Double click outside, go to layout 2, maybe let's remove this one and go to register layout and create a new rectangular one, maybe like this. And double click inside and change the scale to 1 to 2. Then I want to have a circular viewport, so go to home, to circle this and go to register layout, group layout viewports and choose object for viewport select it and you got a circular viewport make a double click inside make a pan and change the annotative scale to 2 to 1 ok go back to your model In order to use annotative dimensions, you have to create an annotative dimension style. So let's go to annotate, register, then the group dimensions, and there you can go to the dimension style manager. There is already an annotative style here. You could use this one, or in this case, I want to make a new one based on the ISO 25. So go for new, call it for example annotative ISO 25 and to make sure it's really an annotative style you have to check this box or go to continue and check this box in the register fit. Anyway now you get a new annotative style which you can recognize by the symbol. Make it the current style, close it. For the dimensioning itself, I want to use this new tool which is available in AutoCAD 2016. Um, similar one has been in AutoCAD Mechanical for some time. So go to dimension and the first dimension you want to make triggers this question box and you're asked for the scale and I will not change it, I just confirm it with OK. So these objects are defined for the scale 1 to 1. Go for center and center again. so you get a nice aligned dimension. Right click, go for continue, choose this baseline and make sure you got the center of this circle, that circle over here and this circle escape. Now these dimensions are defined for the scale 1 to 1. There are these symbols. This one means you could see your dimensions in any scale. See, if I change it to 1 to 2, they're still visible, but if you deactivate this symbol, they're not visible anymore. Okay, I will deactivate this one and go back to 1 to 1. Let's see for our layouts. On the first layout, this viewport is in 1 to 1 scale 
that's okay, they're visible. And in layer 2, there are two different scales, 1 to 2 and 2 to 1, and they're not visible. That's okay with me right now. So go back to model. Let's add some more dimensions. Again, go to dimension, and then let's add maybe this radius right here, that diameter, this diameter, that one, maybe this one, and maybe a radius right here, and another one over here. So this new tool is very, very nice and I've missed it for a long time because it has been available in AutoCAD Mechanical. <laughs> so now I want to see in layout 1 only these dimensions and I want to see here the diameters and I want to see here the radius. So how to achieve this? You could add to this objects, to these annotative objects, some more scales. How? Take a look here, annotation scaling, go to add delete scales. Now choose the scales, not the scales but the dimensions which should get a different scale. These three, right click, add scale 2 to 1, OK. Now you could delete this 1 to 1 scale, delete it, and OK. And they're vanished because this is not active and the scale is 1 to 1. Activate this and you see diameter dimensions and there are half the size of the normal one-to-one -one dimensions. Okay, deactivate this one, go to our layout one, that's okay, they are have vanished and here they are visible because in this viewport we have a scale 2 to 1 and these diameters are defined for this scale. Double click outside, go back to our model. So these should be only visible in 1 to 2 scale. So add to these dimensions, right click another scale, 1 to 2, OK and delete the one-to-one -one scale. Delete, OK. Not visible. Notice that's the switch. So these are twice the size as the normal dimensions and the one-to-one -one scale. Go right here. That's OK. So I missed this one. And here three radius are visible and here not. In earlier times you had to use for every scale which you wanted to have in your layouts a different dimension style and a different layer. Maybe I will do another video which shows you the old method. Annotative objects can be text, dimensions, multi-leader, tables, blocks and hatches. All these annotative objects can be controlled by the annotative scaling. Right here. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. See you to the next one. Bye bye.